80% of the 1,190 islands that make up the Maldives sit less than three and a half feet above mean sea level in the Indian Ocean. That's bad news in a time of climate change. As the planet warms, one of the consequences is that the glaciers, the polar areas, the cold areas of the planet, those are melting, and that excess water is going into the ocean. That's part of the reason why sea levels are projected to rise between one and three feet by the end of this century. If you live on an island, of course you are surrounded by the sea, and that's going to really be a major factor. In fact, the scientific community is projecting now that some small island states in the Indian Ocean may disappear altogether because of sea level rise. The Maldives could be one of the first island nations to disappear beneath the waves. But some engineers have a bold vision to save the islands. I see a future where we have hybrid cities, half on water, half on land. So it gives a complete new recipe for the city of the future. The idea starts in the Netherlands, a country that sits below sea level and is susceptible to flooding. Here, architect Kuhn Oltuis has been designing energy efficient floating houses. The house can move up and down vertically, five to 15 feet up and down. By doing that, there is ideal for in, in, in a tidal uh, environment. After successfully deploying buildings that can literally rise and fall on water in Europe. Here we have the, the floating theater in Lyon in France. In 10 years time, 15 years time, we can also move it to another city. Kuhn's firm has been commissioned for an even bigger project, half a world away in the Maldives. His solution to rising sea levels here is to build a floating city within a sheltered lagoon near the capital of Malé. It's a place where there's less waves than on the open ocean compared to a remote city on open sea where you have to cope with waves up to five or 10 meters, where you have to, uh, to cope with uh, tsunamis and hurricanes. Some of the technology for such massive cities is already in use on the high seas. The oil rig industry brings us fantastic large-scale floating structures that also can be used for floating apartment buildings and even floating high-rise. Kunz's low-rise city in the Maldives will be able to hold up to 30,000 people. You see the 13,000 uh, units here, and it will be all of these kind of, of, of elements, uh, streets and triangles. But how is such an engineering feat plausible in a small island nation with limited resources? The key to unlocking this secret is floating modules. Of course, we're not, not going to build it here. We're going to build it outside the Maldives, in other countries, in other harbors. And the streets and triangles will be put on carrier ships and they'll be brought here, connected. And step by step, you will see the city grow. Kuhn projects it will take five years for all the components to be connected, creating a city that will rise with the water. So it's much more a process of assembling instead of, uh, of building. And that means also that you can also take them away. You're renting space from nature. 